How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you might be. I'm in a super good mood today, and you know why, because you read the title of this video. I did get level 25 with Ezio, and that means I can buy the black colors for Ezio, which I'm going to do here in a second. And that means I have black colors for every legend in Brawlhalla. Every single legend I have over level 25 and purchased the black colors. Not like I can unlock them, but I haven't purchased. No, I've purchased all of them. Woo, that's a lot of gold considering it's 25,000 gold just to get one. Anyways, the time has come once again to unlock black colors for every legend. Boom. Oh, yeah, baby. And by the way, guys, they just announced Castlevania coming to Brawlhalla. Simon and Alucard. And I believe Alucard is going to be a crossover for Ezio. And Simon, a crossover for Jala. So if you haven't seen that trailer, definitely check it out. But yeah, today we are going to dedicate this video to Ezio. I know I've made a video or two on Ezio in the past, but I was a noob at Ezio then, right? Now we have Gold Forge, we have Sky Forge, pretty much every color you can get on Ezio so far I have. But we're going to dedicate this to Ezio and we're going to play one game, probably with each skin in black colors. I might switch up the weapons to be honest because... The weapons are a little bit boring on Ezio skins, not gonna lie. This is base Ezio. We're gonna start with base. And uh, for base Ezio, I'm thinking uh, for the sword, we'll do the Wyvern Sting. And for the uh, orb, we're gonna do Power of Courage. And I got my B bot here. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, brawl. All right, let's go. First game with Black Ezio. This took so long for me to get to. I feel like it took longer than any other legend to get black colors for. I don't know why, but it took forever. But I'm finally here. And now we're going against a Bodvar using the Christmas skin, I think. Oh, uh, man. He got he got wrecked over there off the edge. Yeah, I think he's using Nutcracker Bodvar. That's a, that's a pretty cool skin. There's actually three or four Nutcracker skins. I know Val has one. I forget who else. He's using the Power Surge sword from the uh, the Epic uh, Koji skin. I forget what it's called. No, I, I want to hit with that down sig on orb because it, it's just such a good move if you can hit it. It's hard to hit though, to be honest. It's probably Ezio's hardest to hit signature, but okay. That side air that I just did was so dumb. I don't know why I did that when he had a hammer. He just instantly used the recovery. Boom! <laughs> I'm still alive, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Will I get the three stock? First game with Black Ezio. Probably not. I made it back. I oh, my. Okay. That, that was an accident. My bad. No three stock. Looking at a two stock, though little unarmed action. Ezio ain't afraid to get his hands dirty. Oh, my goodness, these strings. This dude has already got me into yellow. I need to be careful. Oh, hit him with that down, uh, no. Down stick, so hard to hit. If you do hit the down stick, though, it's like almost a guaranteed kill. Like, it hits with so much downward force if you can hit it off the stage. All right, Budvar, you you need to go. Oh, see, he keeps dodging it. That would have been a killing blow. Ooh, he's coming in unarmed. I like it. The down sig on sword as well is super fun to hit. If you can hit it, it's kind of hard to hit. We're definitely gonna hit the sword down sig this video. I don't know about this fight, but we'll see. Again, I should just stop side airing off the edge. He punishes with a recovery every time I do that. And yet I keep doing it. <laughs> Bad habits, guys. And that's that's game. Yep. GG, dude. GG. Well played. 
first game with Black Ezio was a win. Three, two, now we're moving on one. to the next skin. I forget what this one's called, but it looks really good in black colors. I'm using a different weapon here. This is the sword from the man. I can't for I can't remember these legend or these skins. Man, this guy's taunting so much. <laughs> hey man, I, I mean I'm all for opening taunts, but like we don't need to do it for like 10 minutes, bro. Let's go. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, all right. We're gonna fight now. Akuma no Koga Hatori. I think that's. That's where the sword comes from. And I forget what orb I picked. <laughs> I'll remember when I see it. Ooh, this guy's good on on the off stage. How did that not hit him in the head? Come on. Oh yeah, this is the orb that you get from the second battle pass. It's actually animated, which is why I chose it. Ooh, that actually killed. All right, let's see if I can get the sword down Sig in this match. I like that he's using the uh, Steel Series Apex Key Sword. Oh, nice ground pound. And a taunt on me. And he's weapon starving. Which, I don't mind the weapon starve, to be honest. It just gives me a chance to practice my unarmed. Though, it does put me at a disadvantage against a fast legend like Azuri. Doesn't mean I can't keep up with damage that he's doing to me as long as we keep up that's the most important thing and I probably am dead yeah okay well we might be keeping up on damage but we're not keeping up on stocks now we're looking at a reverse two stock situation if I win we gotta take out two stocks with our one man I'm getting a lot of uppercuts on this dude Uppercuts seem to be like one of the easiest unarmed uh, heavy attacks to hit. He's still alive. Zap. All right. So final stocks. Totally even. I'm going to let him get a weapon. All right. I guess we're not we're not having weapons. <laughs> boom. Boom. Uh, fist. Fist. Nope. Nope. Fist fight. Uh, you know what? There's weapons now. GG, GG, dude. Well played. And the disconnect. <laughs> Alright. Moving on, two, guys, to the one, next skin. Roll. Going against the Ulgrim here. This is the Revelations Ezio skin. The one that I was using before was Asgardian Ezio. That's what it was. And then after this, we will use the last skin, which is the Armor of Brutus Ezio. Boom! The only thing about Lance Recovery as a recovery, it's not that great, but as a as an attack, it's 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 pretty dang deadly. Ow. Ulgrim is a really fantastic legend, actually. Very strong. The, the weapon combo of Lance and Axe just makes him very, very good. Oof. I love that Lance he's using. I don't like the colors he's using it in, but the, I do love the Lance. That's one of my favorite Lances in the game, actually. Mm. These little up-close battles. I feel like I'm going to win with the orb versus Lance. Even with the sword. Ooh, got him with that sword down sig. See how I had my back to the edge and then I hit the down sig. It throws him behind and down. If I would have been facing with my back uh, to the stage, I would have thrown him down on the stage and it wouldn't have killed him. So, Oops, faced the wrong way there. We're looking at a three stock. Are we going to get first three stock? today with Black Ezio. Or is Ulgrim going to have the ultimate comeback? Oh, GG. Down sick again. All right, guys. This is going to be the Three, last two, match. One, We're using Armor of Brutus Ezio. Going against Dark Matter Vrax, I think that's called. I actually do really like that Lord Vrax skin. It looks so good. The colors look amazing as well. So I realize this now, but... 
I'm using the Asgardian Orb and the Asgardian Sword. But honestly, I should have used those weapons with the Asgardian Ezio. But that's okay. We're using them for Armor of Brutus Ezio. <laughs> Would have made sense to do the full Asgardian set, but... Ooh, we not hitting that orb down sig, but we hitting that orb down air all day. Ow, ow, don't kill me. Oh boy. Lord Brock's Lance can be so deadly. Oh wait, I'm still alive. Get down, get down, down, down. Uh oh. Might we get a three stock two games in a row? Probably not. This guy is damaging us a lot more. And that Lance is deadly. He hits me with one sig, I'm dead now at this point. Possibly even just a light attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No! What a ground pound. No three stock. I'm a filthy casual, bro. Nothing wrong with being a casual. They're not filthy. And he has honor, by the way. Look at this. He's not attacking. He just waits for the moment. I like this guy. I like how he plays. Nice down sig. The down sig on Lord Vrax Blasters is actually really fun to hit. Well, that might be game. Oh, uh, no. Not game. My bad. He's got one more stock. I've been on point with my weapon throws. I'll say that. Oh, uh, I wanted to get him off the edge there, but I don't want to, like, kill myself while I'm doing that. You know what I mean? Oops. Wrong way. Let's damage him up a little bit. He's only in yellow. There we go. A little bit of damage here. And now he's in orange. I just realized we we have won every game so far using Black Ezio. Let's, let's keep it perfect, baby. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and man, it's been a, a great adventure getting all these legends to black colors. And I'm super excited for all the new stuff coming to Brawlhalla. So definitely subscribe for more Brawlhalla. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.